Okay, so here we go in the in the game now. Um, I think uh, you know I've probably added a few things to the level after my last video. Uh, I've pretty much come to a I think what I'm going to consider a final look for these um, for these areas. Um, so yeah, you know it's it's still really simple. It's still really a uh, low polygon, and um, um, so that's that's the the polys there. It's extremely extremely low poly. Um, I think in total I'm running about between thirty and sixty thousand polys uh, on static meshes. Uh, on these scenes, so you know, extremely low. Um, and then, yeah, of course, so the jumping. Um, they've got the straight jump air control uh, works perfectly. Uh, you know, I can pop around if I like. Uh, running, jumping does a somersault. Even after that, I can go the other way if I want it. Um, and running into all so busy running, jumping, no somersault happens. And then, of course, running into a low area and jumping, and uh, you know, the guy moves across. So, jumping on the wall, the re enabling of the jump uh, works there. So, I can jump, so I keep tapping jump, and he only jumps while, uh, you know, after landing. And again, they keep tapping jump, only jumps after landing. So, that's what the trace does for me, you know, re enabling the jump at the right time. Um, and of course the disable which you know doesn't allow me to jump while I'm in the air so I can basically fly <laughs> um, yeah and that's pretty much all that stuff working okay so I did work a little bit on the sword effect you know I, I figure it's worth going overboard a little bit on the sparks there you know it's a ninja game so you know sparks are plenty <laughs> Um, okay, and then so for the health box, um, there we've got the health effects. Um, it's and there we go. There it sinks and then destroyed. It's uh, you know the effects and stuff is is kind of early early. It's just some thing for me to test and see how it works. And you know I'll expand on that. And uh, there we go. And sh and it's done. And I've got the same thing basically happening on the enemies. I'm, I'm going to spawn some enemies in and they're going to react really badly. Um, but let me uh, just see if I can kill one of them. There we go. And uh, after about five seconds he's going to go. And there we go. So um, that's just something I added. And the effects and stuff there are... are uh, also uh, temporary uh, the idea I'm gonna keep uh, but the effects on there is, is basically temporary so um, it's just an idea I had to get rid of the enemies not to make it too complicated getting rid of the enemies you know it, it's um, it seems to work work pretty good so yeah okay so um, that's pretty much that for the for the game update so far. I think uh, you know level wise and uh, all that stuff. I think I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think I've got my uh, most of my stuff pretty much down, and I've got somebody. <coughs> I've got a friend of mine that uh, offered to help me with a bit of modeling, and uh, he's been working on some enemies, and hopefully I can get those in uh, not too long from now. Uh, so I can start focusing on enemies and uh, you know actual actual gameplay stuff, you know. So like the you know so I've basically got the graphical stuff uh, the way I want them and um, the general camera stuff the way I want them and uh, the the initial player controls and stuff the way I want them and you know uh, the last major area that I need to focus on is the enemies of course so we'll see how that goes but yeah that's it for this one